in the 80s when the world was falling apart and I was falling apart, I had banks at like eight or nine, I had loans at like eight or nine different banks. Huh. And I talk about this in the book and I don't tell a lot of stories because yeah. that's another book. This was just more the Tillmanisms and the little things I did, but not stories and the art of the deal. Every single bank that I did business with failed before I did. Huh. Now think about that, okay? You have these bank loans, you get the little thing to make your payments every month or every quarter, and things are really getting tough and you're starting to fall behind. And the FDIC comes in every Tuesday into Texas and they start shutting down the banks. And in a matter of six months, every single bank that I did business with shut down. Huh. And you don't, you can call the government, you can call them, but where do you make your, Nobody knows. The so, you have to, so you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay. So I get, <laughs> I get, this is the God's honest truth. I get a four year reprieve. Wow. And in that time, you can't borrow a dollar. Buildings in Texas are, are just shut down during the middle of construction. And I get a four year reprieve. So in that time, remember, I'm a developer and I buy my partners yeah. out of the restaurant business okay. in 86 and I start building restaurants. Okay, so over the next four years, I scrounged together. I used credit cards, everything. And I opened up a restaurant in Dallas and in San Antonio and Kima, Galveston, um, Lafayette. And, and I build these restaurants and I'm all of a sudden up making a couple of million a year. And the FDIC calls me. Uh, I think it was the Resolution Trust was, the, was the, what they set up the government. The government okay. sets up these things and... And, and they want and, you to pay yeah. back. And they call me and they say, well, Mr. Petito, you've come up. I wasn't big enough for him to come at me immediately. Remember okay. that. And, and, and they call me and say, we have these loans. We need a meeting. And over the next six months, I negotiated. Had, I had started making good money with these restaurants. And I was able to pay back the same full $2 million. They waived all the interest. And you know wow. what the guy told me who had my account? You were the only person that has been able to pay back 100%. Huh. Isn't that an amazing story? Yeah. And you want to know the next side of the story? Okay. I didn't do this because I couldn't fill out the disclosures and, and say how well you're doing, but you can't lie because you have to tell them you're making a bunch of money today. I signed that settlement, wrote them out a check of $2 million, and I had already put a deposit down on my jet, my first jet. I was 35 and closed on my jet the next day. Wow. But I couldn't close the jet while I was still negotiating with them. So you did it right, right after? The next day, I was because I knew we were settling. <laughs> and so I timed them. You do one and then the other the next day. Yeah, the IRS, okay. that'd be the FDIC that guy. Yeah. I outlasted the banks. How many people get to outlast oh, the banks? Not many. But the U.S. <laughs> government's about the only one that outlasts the bank. <laughs>